In this tip of the day, let's take a look at the importance of the flute length when defining a tool within one CNC. In this example, you can see we have a part and we've applied a pocket operation. Now, to find out what the depth of the pocket is, we can head over here to our Verify palette and let's go to Verify and let's just left click one of these edges. We can see that the actual pocket depth is 563 thousandths. Now let's take a look at our tooling parameters. We're going to head over to the NC Manager, right hand mouse click on the machining operation and select Edit Operation. Within this first dialog box, we can see that the flute length is 750 thousandths. Now, that's defined by the gold area on the tool here, so there's 750 thousandths. Now, 750 thousandths is definitely more than enough flute length to machine a pocket that's 563 thousandths deep. However, let's change the flute length to something smaller. How about a half inch? Now we can see this is dynamically changed. There's a half inch worth of flute length. That is not enough flute length to machine this pocket properly. Let's click next and then finish. Let one CNC generate the toolpath. Now we can use that flute length parameter along with collision detection when simulating toolpath to determine whether or not we have a safe cut. Let me demonstrate that. Let's head over here to our toolpath group. We're going to right hand mouse click, select simulate. I'm going to use a solid model I created earlier for our stock. All right, now I'm going to pause the simulation for just a second. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Now in this example, because I'm using random colors, one CNC is showing us the flute length designated in green here. Now at some point, we're going to run out of flute length, and I want one CNC to capture that, or I want it to make us aware if there's a problem with that. So over here on the left within simulator, there's an option called Show Shank and Holder Collisions. I'm just going to simply left-click that to activate it. Let's resume our simulation. I'm going to click on play. So we have enough flute link so far as we're spiraling down into the pocket, but at some point we're going to run out of flute length. And when that happens, one CNC is going to freeze the simulation, just like it did there, and it's going to give us an error message over here called collision detected. Now if we ignore the error message and just click play, one CNC is going to paint the area where the actual shank is rubbing up against the material in blue. So everywhere that you see blue on the very top of our pocket, that's where there's not enough flute length and that's where the shank is rubbing against the pocket. Very, very powerful. All right, so when defining a tool within one CNC, the flute length is very, very important. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.